Hello guys, you're welcome again to another After Effects Tutorials. In this tutorial, I want to show you how you can recreate the new Meta AI logo animation. You will find this on the home page of your WhatsApp, right from the top side where it will say, ask Meta AI any question. So I want to show you how you can recreate this right inside After Effects without the use of any paid plugin. So support me on this one. Do not forget to like the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel, then turn on the notification. Come back. Let's get started. This tutorial is not for beginners. So beforehand, I've already set up my composition. You can use a lower keyframe for this animation because it is going to be easier, like between 18 frames per second to 24 frames per second because you're going to be doing a lot of things manually here so and it's going to be very easy when we get to that spot so now i have already created a solid layer i named bg on my timeline and then i brought in this reference animation it is exactly i captured this from my whatsapp home page so you can see right here this is one we're going to right recreate then make it the complete logo animation so now we're going to start by duplicating the bg ctrl d on your keyboard to duplicate that then we're going to move it right to the top of the hierarchy right here then we're going to hit t on the keyboard to reveal the transparency we're going to drop the transparency all the way down to zero this is to enable us see what is happening on the sample video we're going to rename the BG layer to something like stroke or whatever you may like. So we're going to pick the pen tool. Then make sure the layer is still selected. Then I'm going to scrub in my timeline to the point where we have it like this. Then I will pull in and start tracing this like this. So I'm going to start from here. So we're going to go around it and adjust this handle. I'm going to hit Alt key to move this handle the way I want it. So that this can fit perfectly to our design. So now we have our first stroke. So what we're going to do now is to expand the mask option right here on the property. Then we're going to change this to none though this does not matter so we're gonna add a plugin we're gonna be using a plugin called tick stroke tick stroke is a free plugin that can help you achieve the gradient look on this animation it is completely free and i have made a video about it on how to use it to create a gradient stroke animation you can find the video on the card above or in the description follow the video then you download the tick stroke plugin it is 100% free so I'm gonna quickly add that so we're gonna temporarily bring this up to 100% on the opacity hit T on your keyboard so that we can see the plugin that we just added so we're gonna make some changes to these properties right here so we're gonna set the width start to 70 I'm gonna also set the end width to 70 as well now we're gonna need to pick our colors so what we're gonna need to do now is to still drop the opacity back to zero or you can hide it if you want but before we move to reveal all the colors that is available on this logo we need to first of all set a keyframe for the path so we're gonna hit m to reveal the mask property so we're gonna just set a keyframe right here for the mask part that is going to enable us to easily come back to this position while we are trying to replicate this 3d look animation so what we're going to do now is to come to this point where the entire color is revealed so if we take a look at this we have four colors right here so we're going to add two more knobs here for the new colors so on this first color we're going to double click on it and pick this blue right here this blue you see right here so i'm going to copy that ctrl shift c to copy the color code then you hit ok then you pick 
drop that same color on this one right here that is going to help us have a seamless gradient look on the color so hit ok so what we're going to do now is to pick this next color to this color which is the purple right here so pick that then we're going to have to pick this uh taqua bluish color so we're going to click on this this should be it then we'll pick that one hit ok as well then we're going to pick the last color which is this blue right here so you hit ok now with this now we have a seamless color look across the gradient so if you change that opacity up you will see what i'm saying so you can see now we have a seamless gradient look on this so if you hide this bottom reference image you see what i'm saying so if you come back to this color right here and you change it to another color that will copy from the beginning you will see that the seamlessness is lost that is why we copied this very color that is by the right to this left so i'm going to quickly undo that so i'm going to also drop the opacity to zero so that we can continue the animation hit you on your keyboard to reveal the keyframe that you created for the part then move to that keyframe we're going to have this now you can unhide the reference animation so we're going to go to this preview window at the right side of your screen if you do not have that you can go to window right here and enable the preview so now we have it we can quickly go to this so we're going to be using this to go to the next frame so let's go backward first in each of these we're going to adjust the mask to fit their logo movement so we're going to go to the next keyframe you see that has changed so i'm going to quickly move the mask to fit in what we have created so i'm going to be doing this for each of the frames you can see now that i move to the next frame it is also need to be adjusted to fit in so this is what i'm going to be doing you see this is why i say if you have a lower keyframe rate it's going to be easier so imagine if you have 30 frames per second that is going to take a longer time to copy this animation manually even though this is not for beginners no sometimes you need to keyframe everything manually so that you can get it but always remember that the one at the bottom right here do not move these vertices you can only move the handles so that you can have a stable animation so i'm going to be doing this across the frames to replicate all of this so I have gone through that frame by frame and then animated it is just quite a bit frame just about 50 frames right here or less than that just at the center here that is where the animation happens so if you follow that you can see I've already recreated that animation right here so what we're going to do is to hide the sample image but before that if you hide this original one right here you will see that the gradient right here is rotating and we're gonna also need to replicate that so we're gonna hide that quickly and then unhide the one we have recreated quickly so let's go to the effects and control right here so what we're gonna do to have this rotating the gradient going around so below the color here you will see this option called cycle so we're gonna hold down the alt key or option key if you are using the mark then click on it we're gonna add an expression right here on the timeline time asterisk 160 you see as we move that gradient is rotating all through so that is that so what we're gonna do now is to right click on your timeline go to new then you create a new all object we're gonna name this control so we're going to make this our animation a child of the control so what we're going to do now is to right click again on the timeline go to new and create a new text layer so we're going to type in meta ai so we're going to move our time indicator to this point where this start turning we're going to set a position keyframe for this and also set a scale keyframe at this point then we'll move forward in time to this point then we're going to change the scale downward a bit to somewhat like this and then move it to the left side of the screen so that we can peg a space for the meta text so now we're going to select all the keyframes right here hit f now on your keyboard to ease ease so now let's fit this back to 
preview so we're gonna move this meta text to about this point hold and shift while you're doing that so that we can shift it to this point so now at this point now we're gonna go to hit uu to reveal the property then we're gonna go to the animation then we add an opacity so we're gonna go to this add then properties we're gonna add blur then we're gonna also add scale on the property so we're gonna move here and increase the blur for the text we can increase it to 40 then we're gonna change the scale to 20 and we're gonna drop the opacity to zero we're gonna expand the range selector so we're gonna go to this uh, offset then we we'll set a keyframe to negative 100 then we'll go forward in time here and set the keyframe for the offset to positive 100. So we're gonna expand the advance right here. So we're gonna go to this. We're gonna go to the shape of the animation and set this to ramp up. So we just offset the timing. And if you preview the animation now, this is what you have. A meta logo animation. This is how you can recreate it right inside Adobe After Effects without use the without the use of any paid plugin. The only thing I added right here is to duplicate the stroke layer. That is this logo layer. Then I added a CC radial fast box blur and then keyframe the amount to fit my animation. That is not necessary. I just added that to add beauty to it because this is not actually in the original animation. So this is how you can create the new meta AI logo animation right inside Adobe After Effects without the use of any third party plugin. If you learned something new on this video, please hit the like button that will enable the algorithm to suggest this to more people if you have any question please feel free to ask me in the comment section and i'll reply to all questions as quick as i can if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet please subscribe to my youtube channel you can support me in any way you can give me super thanks subscribe to my membership whatever way you want to support me with even if you share the video that is also a huge support and it is highly appreciated if you like the video leaving a comment is all a support so in whatever way you are able to support me i highly appreciate you so until i see you again on the next one my name is ssb otaru from motion digit studios